Aqua gang, gang, gang. What to do, you guys? It's your girl, Empress 777, today with a general message from my beautiful Aquarian soul family. What's up, y'all? I hope you're doing super fantastic. I most certainly am. Holy Angels and Spirit guys, please come through. Give us the messages that we need, okay, in regards to the energy showing up for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Let's keep in mind that the messages are general, guys, okay? Take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't force anything to fit. If you happen to be a cross watcher dealing with an Aquarius, just Place yourself where you belong in the storyline. Okay. Place yourself. Swip, swap the storyline. Do whatever you need to do, baby. Okay. Don't force anything to fit, though. That, that's what we don't want to do. Okay. These readings are, of course, timeless and they are also fluid. Okay. So this could be something predictive of the future, something currently unraveling or something that has already happened in the recent past. If you would take a moment, guys, click that like button, please. I appreciate those of you who do it every single time. All jokes aside, y'all, right? We have built something very beautiful here on this platform. And, you know, every now and again, you know, I'm a G, but I, I get a little sensitive, right? We built such a beautiful community. And I just, I appreciate you guys so very much. If you are new here, welcome. Okay. I am an acquired taste, beloved. Okay. So, you know what I'm saying? I get it, right? Like, just take a look around. Okay. Check out the vibes we got going on if you like it. If you could pick up what I'm putting down, if you like my flavor, baby, consider joining us, okay? Click that subscribe button. Join the fam bam. Everybody also, right? I'm, I'm we, We're conversing here. I don't get to respond to every comment, but I love to see you guys having discourse with each other down below, conversing with one another, right? Uh, communication, right? And shoot me a little, hey, girl, hey, don't be rude. Say it back. Okay, so... Ah, boy. You know what it is, guys? I feel like, right? It's such a funny thing, the ego, okay? Especially when it happens to be fragile. Um, I get whatever energy you possessed in the connection with this person um, has shifted, of course. But it was also misread. So this person might be a little bit illiterate in terms of emotional intelligence, right? I feel like they misread how much you might have actually been into them. I also feel like they misread how quick shit could change because I do get that you were into this person, but then they came with the bullshit, right? Here's the thing, right? I feel as though the ego is only on life support at this time for this individual because they weren't able to quite treat you the way that they wanted to. Whatever this entailed, okay? This gives mind fuck, this gives, you know, insecure. It gives somebody who, um, who needs to do certain things, pull certain strings and use certain manipulative tactics to get someone on a leash, to get someone, uh, you know, attached, um, against their will sort of shit. That's what I heard. That's what I heard, right? Because if you're lying and somebody falls in love with you or you're love bombing and somebody falls for that, right? They believe you, but you're actually lying. Then that's stealing, right? That's stealing someone's heart. This person uses those type of games, like those type of switcheroos, Jedi mind tricks. Um, they have all kinds of things in that Barney bag of theirs. The difference between you and the people from their past is you played along, right? <laughs> You did. I, I, I get that this person feels out gamed by you. I feel like they feel outsmarted. They feel as though um, you are the one playing the games now, right? Because why would you have pretended that I was getting away with my bullshit? Um, it's so funny how that goes, isn't it? Nobody ever wants to start at the beginning. People always want to start at the end. And this is a prime example of when people don't get to treat you the way that they want to, not only do they get mad, but they can start to do things that will trigger this to happen to you. But I feel as though it flipped on this motherfucker. It was like, um, a boomerang, if you will. They threw this shot towards you. They tried to hurt you. I want to know what happened, guys. Tell me down below. What did they try? Okay. Um, it was a fair attempt. I mean, it was, well, it was a valid attempt is what I should say. They really tried. Okay. But I feel like they're getting met with dust. Now, the very next card out, we have at least argue with me, which makes sense to the next card that's coming, which is ghosted. OK, um, I feel like you're paying this person dust. I feel like they 
definitely thought that whatever game this was, whatever this tactic was to keep you, to attach you, to get you to attach yourself. You see, the mind game is not for them to seem like they're in control. They want to invisibly be in control, pulling strings on the back end, right? They want to be in the background of things and make you think that this is actually how you feel, make you think that this is actually what you want, make you think that you're actually in love, make you, right? It's, it's that sort of thing. I feel like you completely detached from this, okay? Yeah, see, they act like they just want to be in the background. Like, hey, I just want to play the back, right? Like, I just want to be your co-star, right? Like, it's all you, babe. You're the main character, energy type shit. But they're playing games in the background. Hmm. Play games with the wrong one, baby. I'll just say it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. By the right one, you got the wrong one this time. You're not new to this. You are not new to this. Um, perhaps some of you have already been through something like this before in the past. So you were just kind of waiting, right? You played along. I'm sort of hearing the phrase, I give you enough rope just... I give you just enough rope, bitch. You don't even know the rope is there. You think you're playing me? Okay. You think I'm playing your game? No, bitch. You're, you're in my game right now. I invented this shit, actually. Um... So I see this person like definitely being extremely angry and like cursing you out on the inside, right? Because this is not how this was supposed to go. Now, we do have here on the side crossing spying, right? So this is what is hidden. This person is definitely lurking. They're trying to keep tabs on you. They're trying to figure out what you got going on. Okay. What you've been up to. Are you posting about them? Are you posting memes about them? Are you posted up with someone else? They don't want to actually show you that they really care. Okay. They don't want to actually show that they really care because you're on this and they're attempting to be on this, but it's not working. Now, I'm hearing a different storyline. So just place yourself where it belongs for you. Don't force anything to fit. For some of you, this ghosted card, this person, this person actually attempted to do that to you. They tried to trigger some abandonment issues in you. So they either pulled back all, all the way or they just disappeared. And this was in an attempt to get you to be on this type of time with them. But instead of you spying or instead of you reaching out, blowing up their phone, um, you did that. OK, you just detached from it. You just released it. Been there, done that. Um, this is very interesting. Emotions equal weakness. So this could be this person's first mind or first thought. I, like I said, I, I think that they kind of read too much into your attraction towards them. Were you attracted to them? Yes. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like they put 20 on 10, meaning they definitely gave that way too much value. They read too much into that. They, you know, placed it at much, much higher on the scale than it should have been. They gave it way too much weight. Um, they also don't recognize the duality in Aquarians, right? Um, it takes us a while to get to the point where we actually are giving you a chance, right? Like a fair shot where we're opening up to you, where we're being vulnerable, where any emotions are showing at all. So that for me, that feels like this person played the long game or at least they thought they did. Right. I definitely heard love bombing some um, somewhere up in there. OK, and the attempt to get you to believe the lie, get you to latch on to the lie, switch it up really quick. That's the mind game. Right. Or detach really quickly. Right. Or become act like you did something wrong to make them stop doing what they did in the beginning. It's something to that effect. That's just one example. It could be many of things in terms of what these mind games were from this person. Um, and that is in the attempt to get you to crash out over them right like get you to attach yourself to something get you to believe that something is what it's not and what they did was like I said they don't they don't understand the duality in Aquarians like once you have gotten us to open up that shit can switch bitch like it can change <laughs> it's not forever ever it's not just inevitable like no it can change and depending on how evolved you are in yourself right depending on how many awakenings you have had, how many transformations you have had, how old you are, right? Like how, um, how evolved you are as in your Aquarian energy that will also dictate just how, 
um, dangerous it is for someone to play this kind of game with you. Okay. You want to play the detachment game, bitch. I invented it, right? Like you will be butthurt. And that is what we have right now. I feel like they have come into contact with their match. They've met their match in this. And it's like, you didn't even play a game with this person. Yeah. See, you've healed. There's a certain level of focus on yourself, a certain level of healing and a certain level of protection. That's how I view this candle that you have going on here. So you were able to see through this person after a certain point in time. Um, now that doesn't mean that they, they, they didn't hurt you, right? Like that's not what that means at all. What that means is even if you felt annoyed, hurt, right? Sad about how this is going or how it turned out about the fakeness of it all, right? Like about the truth coming to light because of how evolved you are in yourself, right? In your spiritual journey, the healing process will be much different than that of somebody who is still holding on to their ego. You see, this is going to be far more detrimental emotionally and spiritually to this person who tried to pretend, you know what I'm saying? They were pretending all along. You may have even thought that this person was also spiritually inclined, such as yourself, because they kind of took notes. They became what they thought they needed to be for you. At least argue with me, right? And then there's an exclamation mark. So I feel like, like once again, right, it's just sort of like... You're not showing this person any signs of weakness. You're not showing them any signs that you care. You're not showing them any signs that you are stuck. Look at this shit right here, baby. You see, I feel like this person, a part of their game is to create such a level of confusion. That's what the spider web signifies to get you wrapped up in your own shit, your own thoughts to where they can just sit back. They don't even have to do anything. You will blow up their phone. You will chase them. You will call them. You will call them again. You will text them again. That's how they have gotten people in the past, but it's just not working out that way for them this time. Okay. I feel like this person has set themselves up. You guys, I really, really do. Um, they may really be kicking themselves for doing this to you because now it's definitely backfiring in the worst way possible. Do I take that? No. Okay. I just, Hey, I just want to be your co-star. This person really came in on some love bomb shit. Y'all I'm not even going to hold you. For some of you, it might still make you sad. The possibilities, um, the, the energy in the beginning, it, it has the ability to really feel whimsical, magical even, right? It is um, a trick. It is to get, it's to get the person stuck, okay? Um, continue to heal yourself, right? Show yourself some grace. Don't beat yourself up for any decisions that you've made thus far as it is all faded. Fate is also in that spider web card. So it feels as though this person has walked right into a karmic debt. Okay. Um, they will not get away with their deceit. Yep. Look at this. So we have snake. Okay. So not only is this person's mental health going to be under attack, um, they may also be under some kind of um, sexual attack. Okay. I, I don't know. What the fuck? What? Yeah. Like, um, you're not biting the bait. Okay. You're not taking the bait. You're paying them dust. They have in turn become the ones that want to know what you're doing, right? Feeling a little bit out of control because what happened? You know, how'd you get out of this? <laughs> right? Like, how did you, how did you, how did you happen to escape this? And the longer that you dealt with this person, the more confused they are. So I do see them being so confused that they can't even focus, right? Um, there is no focus for this person. They are onto their next victim, but I feel like they're stumbling into deceptive energy of their own. This snake card can also signify that this person feels like you are the version of them. You are the male or woman version of them. I don't see that. I see this person stepping right into a, a trick, right? Stepping to their own. They are stepping into their own trap. That's what I see. But because they can't focus and they're not thinking clearly, it is not there, right? Like there's a level of healing that this person just has not attained. 
they don't see it that way. They they don't view their ways as deceptive because it is habitual, right? Like it's just their way of being. They view you as being deceitful. You just detach. Her. How the fuck did you get out of there? Did you see you just snuck out in the middle of the night? Who the fuck do you think you are? Right? Like, what are you doing? OK. Hmm. Health. So this person's health might take a bit of a beating here, you guys. Okay. I see more mental health than anything, but it could also be some physical ailment. Um, they're going to start seeing it in all areas of their life. It's going to start to ooze out, right? The karma, um, what they put out is coming back. It's a boomerang is what they keep saying. Damn, babe. We have jewel box fortune, mm -hmm. secret and safekeeping, right? So, my readings are normally from the perspective of both parties, right? And I never want to make it appear as if I'm being biased. I just read cards and I hear, I hear it into it. I can hear the storylines, right? Like the downloads are thrown at me. In terms of this jewel box, I always have to give that bit of a disclaimer because I don't want to make it seem like I'm riding y'all. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to make it seem like I'm kissing y'all ass. I'm not. It, it, listen. I just read the cards, baby. And sometimes I have to get on y'all ass sometime too. You know what I'm saying? If you've been here for a while, you know that. Okay. Disclaimer done. Jeweled box. This was a fortunate positioning for this person. I feel like spirit was setting this person. This is a test for them. I feel like spirit was setting them up with actually a, a beautiful opportunity to make a different choice. Right. I definitely said that the way that this person is, is a habit, right? Like they habitually show up deceptive, deceitful, you know, wearing masks, manipulative, right? They, um, this 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 gives them a rise okay in order to get someone stuck right stuck on you um make someone think that it was their idea all along and before you know it you can i see a visualization of them sitting back putting their feet up hands behind their head and people just coming towards them you see what i'm saying um contacting them non-stop sometimes they answer sometimes they don't but it gives them a rise to feel like they have that kind of control over somebody else's mental capacity over somebody else's emotional triggers right if you know the triggers then you can control them that's what i just heard um what they don't understand the secret is, right? The gag is that this was an opportunity for them to choose a different path. That doesn't mean that they would have escaped their fate or their karmic debt altogether, but I feel like it would have been a little less brutal, but they, they, they bit the bait, right? Like they did not take that opportunity. In fact, I feel like they wanted you stuck more than any other options. This people, this person still has people chasing them. So we have third eye. We also have spirit path, inner work and journey, right? So this is a very much so spiritual connection. It was always fated for the two of you to meet one another. OK, um, your wisdom is what allowed for you to get out of this. It, your wisdom is what allowed you to not get stuck in the first place as well as the inner work that you had already done but because this person does not use their intuition they don't read the room they're not seeing things clearly you guys they don't see things clearly because of the lack of healing that they've done there's no focus here right um they only see things from their perspective so it definitely set them up to like i said fall into their own trap is what they're saying <sighs> baby If you find that you have not detached from this person yet, then I, that is what I see coming. OK, um, I see a reverse Uno. I see this person wanting to trigger an argument. OK, they, they want to say something. This person feels like they have studied people. Right. So this is how they lead. They lead in with something to make you mad, get a rise out of you, um, make you crazy. Right. Like crazy making energy. Um, say something extremely lowbrow, okay? Something that is going to really make you step outside of yourself. That is the attempt. And that is what will let this person know if you're stuck or not, right? But I get that they don't even have the opportunity to do that, or they may never get the opportunity to do that because of your level of detachment. Um, it's only going to make them more angry, right? Like more insecure, more angry, like more obsessed, with with understanding you with trying to understand you this person absolutely has no understanding of you um even though they thought they did 
right? This is why they're now pointing the finger at you as if you were the deceptive one. Because for them, I studied you, bitch. So how the, how in the fuck did you did you never end up in the spider web? Like that just doesn't. You had to lie, right? Like it had to be a lie. Then everything that you said that you felt about me, everything that you said that you wanted with me, all that shit had to be a lie if you never ended up in this web of deception, chaos, conflict, and toxicity. You didn't drink the poison, like so. I was pretty sure you drank the poison. These are their words, not mine. I, I heard I was pretty sure you drank the poison. So they felt like they had you emotionally, right? They place a lot of value on that. That means that their prey is weak. Okay, right below that. Oh my gosh, we have beautiful liar. They say that that is crossing, right? So, th so they are very much so attracted to you. I feel like this person is so unfortunate, right? I get that they're attractive. I get that they could get people the right way, but there's something, um, there's some kind of deep rooted trauma. This is just the way that they are. This is the way that they like to do things. They get a rise out of doing it this way. It's um, a sick mind game, right? It's control. The games are endless. OK, and instead of you hopping on the hamster wheel or getting on the play or getting on the field to play, you you deem this to be too much work, right? Way too much work. You felt like you were clocking in just to hang out with this person. Um, be, also, it could just be a spiritual drainage that you would have felt or you will feel. OK, um, this is a very spiritual interaction. Um so I feel as though even if you don't outright see the games, you're in energetically, you will feel depleted after hanging around this person. Um, you may just feel like it's just it's a lot going on. It's a lot of work just to engage with them. Um, there will be signs, right? There, there will be there will be very clear signs. Prior to the games ever showing up, like prior to the games being extremely evident to you. You're gonna, you will get visualizations. They may come in the form of dreams. They may come in the form of signs, synchronicities, right? Um, visions. Um, there will be very clear indicators in your in your body. See, that's that's what this person doesn't understand. You see what I'm saying? And they will never understand it because they they have not even begun their journey. Right? Like they're still they are still deceptive. And they are still resonating in their ego 100%, 100%. So there's no way that they could understand that, no, you weren't deceptive. You weren't a liar, right? Like a beautiful liar, right? They want you bad. That's what I'm hearing. As soon as I touch that beautiful liar card, it's like they really do. They, they want you, right? There is an obsession there. They wanted to lock you down the baddest, OK, I see their phone like their phone, the text messages going off from random people that they ghosted. Right. That they left hanging on a string that they kind of just left hanging out. This web is big as fuck. It's a lot of people on this web. Everyone except you. Right. Like that's creating an obsession for them. For sure. Um. I, I don't know if I said this already. I feel like those excessive text messages and people who are reaching out for clarity and understanding people are, who are trying to, un, you know, unstuck, right, unleash themselves, free themselves, right, from this trick, from this trickery. The way out is in is what they're telling me, right? Um, the way out of this is inward. That's what these people would need to do. They would need to search for themselves internally, heal something within themselves, right? Whatever that trauma is that this person unpacked on them and then use it as a weapon. It could be anything. It could be abandonment issues. Like I said, ghosting is when people ghost you, right? Narcissists specifically. I don't want to throw that phrase out, but that's what this is giving, guys. I have to be very honest, right? Or at least having some of the qualities of that. Um or just manipulators in general. We can just say it like that, right? Because I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a therapist. I don't diagnose people. But, you know, this sort of energy, they study you, right? So if they recognize that you have a certain attachment style, 
right? If you have certain triggers, if you have certain pains or traumas from the past, they dig, right? Like this type of person will investigate, okay? Ghosting is a clear indicator that they found out that somebody has abandonment issues. So if I ghost this person, if I play this game of hot cold, then they will chase me. They will run after me. They will blow up my motherfucking phone. And what does it do? It boosts this person's ego. It makes them feel like I'm that. G- look, look, look how many times she calling me, bro. Right. Look how many times he calling me, sis. Like, look how I got him wrapped around my finger, bitch. Look how I got her. Right. Like, look at all these people. Like, yeah, it's like that. Everyone except you. <laughs> it's not funny. This is not funny. Look, you cannot make this shit. Listen, God, hello? You can't make it up, right? Now, I don't know if you struggle with abandonment issues or if that is a part of your attachment style, right? Like that anxious attachment style. Um, codependency could be a part of it. People pleasing, right? That can stem from not getting enough attention or one of your parents leaving, right? One of your parents passing away early, one of your parents being there but not actually being there. All of this shit starts in childhood and then it shows up in your adulthood and it does affect the way that you communicate. It affects the way that you attach, right, to to romantic partnerships. And if you if you happen to meet someone like this, they take advantage of that, right? It gives them a rise, okay? They get off on this. Um They've done it many times before and they may have saw a glimpse of it in you, but you've already healed is the thing. You were never going to get stuck. You never were. You were never going to get stuck in this web. But because they themselves have not healed, right? They misread this completely and they fell into their own trap. (sighs) This shit deep, babe. It says you deserve better than my hot and cold behavior. Oh! Really? Oh, really? Okay. And when did you have that epiphany, genius? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Your rejection has been a catalyst for change. I believe that. What kind of changes? I don't know. Are they real or not? Have no idea. We're dealing with a fraud here, okay? We're dealing with a trickster. We are dealing with a master manipulator. We are dealing with a master of disguise, baby. They should get the MVP for this shit. You can't believe nothing that come out this motherfucker mouth. I got to say that. I got to say that. It's easier to be superficial and be accepted by society. You cannot make it up, right? And a deep part of me, which I'll check in the extent, a deep part of me believes that... This person has their own deeply rooted trauma. It could absolutely actually be trauma from rejection, abandonment. And in their mind, everybody does that, right? On a subconscious level, it's like, I better get them before they get me type shit. That doesn't make it right. But I feel that's what I feel. You know what I mean? That would explain it becoming a habitual pattern. And wanting to hold on to people against their will. That's how I see that. I am manifesting loving and meaningful relationships. What is love, ma'am, sir, bruh, sis? Hmm? What say you? What is love, bitch? I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. What is love? Hmm? Because if you like this... And you damn bad. How, how could you possibly know? Look how you've been going on carrying on. Before you date me, understand, I am damaged and a broken soul. I could have told you that, right? So there's some accountability there. Um, this obsession is definitely leading to some aha moments. It's leading to some clarity. Are they completely tapped in? I don't think so, bitch, right? Like, this is a process. This is just the beginning, right? Like, this is just the veil lifting slightly, just slightly. And it's only because uh, they feel you bamboozled them, okay? They feel hoodwinked. They feel like you got them. It's the gimme gotcha, bitch. That's it. They feel got. They feel like they were taken advantage of. They feel like they were hustled. All of that. It's the only reason why they're digging. It's the only reason. It's the only reason. Okay, it will lead to some form of healing, but it took all of this to get there. You see what I'm saying? 
I, I, I don't know. So let's head over to the extended, okay? I definitely want to see what shadows could potentially affect the outcome of this, both on your side and their side. I want to know what both of you are dealing with internally on a subconscious level. You more specifically digging through those shadows or doing that shadow work will um, allow for this to be removed, okay? Completely. Okay, this energy needs to get the fuck out of Dodge, bitch. We, we need this out of here, okay? Shadows, the shadow work will allow you to know why it may still be showing up, even though I see a level of healing and work energetic work that you've already been doing let's go ahead and wrap this up okay Let, let's wrap it up i want to see what karma this person is going to face this is just the beginning like i said i want some details on that shit yeah yeah i want to know mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i want to know why this had to happen okay that's going to let you know your lesson in this why why was it fated to happen okay um let's see what their next steps are as well as their intentions so you can be prepared there's no judgment okay guys do what you feel best for yourself i know how i lay these readings out and i know how passionate i can get um it's still your decision right so we will of course look to see what the best the very best possible outcome would be considering this person is on the brink of changing let's see if there's been a transformation and what is the best possible outcome if you should decide to deal with this person again what are you getting back okay what are you setting yourself up for yeah let's then get into the new who's coming in okay who and what is coming towards you only the good only the new what are their truest intentions for you and for their future right like are they looking for something long term or are they just looking for fun we want to make sure you are getting these answers up front right so that you know what you're dealing with in terms of people and you can make the best decisions for yourself and make the best choices for yourself let's see why they are single okay how will you potentially meet this person i also want to look into any warnings red flags if any Okay, any deal breakers, right? What do their exes have to say about them? Who are they in a relationship, actually? That'll also let you know if you're dealing with someone who is healed, if you're dealing with someone who is who has done the work, babe. Okay, we need alignment now. No more of this misaligned, you know, toxic bullshit, okay? Let's see what the chemistry is like between the two of you in and out of the bedroom. And I want to know what the potential is for things to go all the way with you and the new counterpart. Okay, you and the new person. Is it worth your time or an awe? Uh -huh. And we'll get what blockages could be keeping you visible to toxicity or could keep this type of thing showing up. OK, let's see what you need to do to remove that ASAP. And then we'll get your focus advice on how you can achieve your desired life of fulfillment in the least amount of time. OK, I think I'm going to throw in a Ask the Universe read as well. And I'll give you the floor to ask a couple questions, but I'll have more instructions for that over in the extended. All right. So we ready? Without further ado, click the like button as well as the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I'm going to put the link for the extended reading down below in the description box. I'm going to see you all over there. Let's cut up.